If the heat sink is going to be reused, use an approved wipe to clean the thermal grease from the part. The CPU comes contained in an electrostatic package that doubles as an installation guide. Before reusing a processor that was removed from another system board, wipe the thermal grease from the processor with an alcohol cleaning pad. Apply the thermal grease on top of the processor with a syringe by forming four uniformly spaced dots, while each dot consists of about 0.1 milliliters of thermal grease. Align the arrow on the heat sink with the arrow on the CPU retainer. Carefully lower the heat sink onto the CPU retainer clips and press down gently until the clips are engaged and the CPU is secure. Lift the newly assembled processor heat sink module up by the heat sink to remove it from the package. You'll need a Torx T30 screwdriver. Align the triangle mark and guide pins on the processor socket with the triangle mark and mounting holes of the PHM. Carefully lower the PHM straight down into the processor socket. Fully tighten the numbered Torx T30 captive fasteners on the processor heatsink module in the install sequence shown on the heatsink label. This label instructs us to begin tightening fastener number 1, then 2, 3, and 4. Only tighten the fasteners until they stop. Do not over tighten. Note the orientation of the air baffle. Lower the air baffle tabs into the chassis notches. Connect the RAID supercapacitor module cable to its corresponding RAID adapter cable. Then lower the system fan cage straight down into the chassis. Rotate and lower the system fan cage levers to secure the cage. Before you install the top cover, ensure that all components are installed and seated correctly. Lower the top cover onto the chassis until the mounting posts of the cover engage the guides on both sides of the chassis. Pivot the cover latch down and ensure that all clips are engaged. 